tough day for you guys? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Zach Knoll, you think you threw around 55 pitches, two innings. Just control issues, or was the weather playing a big part in it? Yeah, uh, control issues. Obviously, walking guys, and we had seven walks today, and um, we had, we had some opportunities too. They they hit much better with guys in scoring position and took advantage of what we gave them. Um, and I was disappointed in uh, not only the walks, but uh, like I said yesterday about our hitters, we uh, we hit backwards. We were aggressive with nobody in scoring position, and we were uh, too patient with guys in scoring position and swung at bad pitch selection. And today our pitchers nibbled, got behind a million three ball counts, two and O counts, and then we really did a poor job of executing two strike pitches when we did get ahead. So uh, we, in fact, we call it the zero level. We threw fat pitches with two strikes and fine pitches with less than two strikes. That's backwards with our philosophy and everybody's philosophy. So. Uh, but tip your cap to the Huskies. They got up off the deck and did something about it. And uh, we got to, uh, I've got to try to figure out a way to get my guys to finish series off and games off and different things like that. We, we just got thumped today. George, where does that leave you for the Sunday start position? Oh, I, I don't think Noel's lost it. Uh, I think, you know, it'd be real easy for me to make an excuse for him that uh, the conditions were not conducive, that we're not perfect, but. He's, you know, if he's going to be our Sunday guy and he's going to pitch in the Northwest and uh, he's going to have to pitch when it's damp or the, the mound's not perfectly dry. And I don't know if it was a combination of uh, nerves because it was a Sunday start in conference, but uh, that's the first time he's looked uncomfortable. Um, so again, it, it doesn't necessarily demote him to a different role. We just got to get, we got to figure out who is going to be that Sunday guy that can hopefully get us deeper in the game than we got today. Would it have been any different if Stringer had come in and Well, and the Stringer didn't miss a bat either, when, as you noticed, when he came in. And that was that was part of the thing. He, uh, he threw some decent pitches, but uh, Coach Dietrich was um, disappointed that he didn't expand the strike zone when he did get count leverage. He, he almost threw too many strikes, if, he, if, that, if that's possible. you know. And, and he's the kind of guy with his stuff that he's got to have plus command in the zone when he wants to be and out of the zone when he wants to be. Cooper Styles was one of the guys who really impressed. What do you think of him? Yeah, Coop did a great job. Uh, that was one of the highlights of the day. And then I thought uh, when we inserted Braden Stutzman back into the catching position, I thought he did a tremendous job of blocking. And there were some, some crazy pitches that he did a nice job of blocking. So, you know, there's always a silver lining in, in anything. There were some uh, good things that we did. You got to kind of pick those things out. and. You know, whether you win or lose, you got to, uh, you know, f fix the things that are broken. Uh, today, for the first time in a long time, uh, the performance on the mound was a little bit broken. And, but nonetheless, I mean, we had a couple spots there uh, that if we get a little bit more of a quality of bat, we're in the ball game. So I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in that. And um, we got to get our upperclassmen going. Where those guys are scuffling, and they're, and not only are they scuffling. Uh, they're not taking the kind of quality of bats they should be taking, so we got some work to do there. So how do you take these first two weekends? So you're four and two and second place. We're tied for it. I mean, but I guess this isn't the day to talk about that. Right? Um. Well, uh, we let one get away today. Uh, not get away. That's part, we didn't hand it to them. They they earned it. Um. And, and this stretch of eight games in 11 days, we got three in the bank, and now we got five games and whatever amount of games and days. And uh, we go to Utah, and they pitch awfully well, and they're a really good club. So uh, first things first is we got to go to Portland and see what we can do there and get back on track, and and maybe uh, maybe we can get uh, momentum going into the Utah series. That'll that'll be a tough one. It's always difficult. How do you handle pitching the start on Tuesday and? Will you go with Peterson on Thursday? Uh, I don't know if it's 100%, but uh, no, no um, yes, we want to go with Peterson. Um, we'll see how he comes out of this and make sure he's good to go. And tentatively, that's what we're thinking. Uh, Carranza will start uh, on Tuesday, most likely. Uh, I'll, I'll confirm that with Coach Dietrich, but that's what he said to me as this game was unfolding. And it might be Johnny Allstadt. I mean, it might not just be a true start uh, to think that Kronza can go 90 pitches 
with his workload is probably unrealistic. But uh, you know, since we've got a, a lot of guys' feet wet today, maybe he'll go as far as he can instead of the two inning, one inning, all that Johnny Allstaff stuff. You think you were gonna get back in it there when you started to get some stuff going? And yeah, you know that whole uh, the mound was muddy and. Uh, you know, the kids said it was muddy and that long break for them to manicure both. I think it broke our momentum a little bit and tip your cap to the kid. He refocused and did a tremendous job at that point. That certainly was a turning point. We might have been able to put a little bit crooked, more crooked number on there and put some real pressure on him. And, but he did a nice job. I, you know, if he's on my team, I'm very proud of him for that.